Yes, hello everyone. This is Akshita, your educator, and I welcome you all on the platform of Global Online. Uh, so, as we know, French Global Online platform has launched a complete course for upcoming CTET examination 2023, and in this particular whole course, we'll be discussing the syllabus for the CTET exam. So, in this particular series, we are dealing with the mathematics. and this complete course for mathematics will be for paper 1 as well as for the paper 2 before moving into the video friends i would like to tell you that the highlighting feature of this particular course will be that we'll learn mathematics in such a way that uh, certain tricks and tips will be shared along with you so that you will be able to answer the question in a limited span of time in few seconds and uh, your preparation will be held on in such a way that you'll score maximum marks in the examination and have guaranteed selection so let us begin with the lecture so before moving into the video friends what are the complete uh, features of the course launched by global online platform let us discuss that for the central teacher eligibility test a uh, complete course has been launched for paper 1 as well as for the paper 2 consist of the following features here you will be provided with the full syllabus theory lectures along with that practice multiple mcqs will be carried out mock tests will be provided to you and full syllabus notes in the form of the pdf will be provided and the course will be completely in english language as well as if you want the course in any other regional language you can let me know in the comment section and based upon that we'll also launch the courses for you in different languages as well so the course fees for the all above features will be rupees 2000 rupees and uh, for enrollment of the course you can contact us on the number which is 8669316919 or 8179138413 or else you can download the global online application from the play store from where also you can get subscribed to this particular course global online application with such a logo is available on the play store you can install from there after installing the application you can open it you'll find such type of interface in this particular interface if you look downwards there is an icon named as store icon you have to click on it you'll move to the page called as my courses and in my courses there is a search tab in that search tab you have to type cited once you'll type cited course along with the fees will be displayed downwards and hence you can get enrolled to the course excluding seated we have different courses for beard cet entrance examination as well as for different set examinations state set examinations we have courses available for paper 1 as well as for paper 2 if you are preparing for ugc net examination we have courses available for paper 1 as well as paper 2 with different subjects similarly if you are preparing for csir net paper 1 as well as for paper 2 with different subjects we have courses available on our platform and the courses are designed in such a way and such a manner where you can score maximum marks in the examination and can have guaranteed selection so without any further ado let us begin with today's lecture and in today's lecture as i have mentioned before in previous lecture as well that will be discussing the divisibility rule the divisibility tests okay so without any further ado let us begin with the lecture just uh, give me a minute and then we'll start the lecture the left out divisibility tests will be discussed in today's lecture as in previous lectures we have discussed the divisibility rule for two the divisibility rule for three as well as for four then we went for divisibility rule of five divisibility rule of Six as well as for eight we have discussed for nine for ten for eleven also we have discussed again the divisibility rule for twelve fourteen was discussed in the previous lectures okay so divisibility rule for fifteen sixteen twenty four forty and eighty will be discussed in today's lecture divisibility rule of fifteen sixteen twenty four forty as well as eighty will be discussed in today's lecture okay. so once we'll complete this uh we'll start up with a new topic we have already finished whatever the required divisibility tests and rules are required okay then uh, next in upcoming lecture the topic that we are going to start is hcf and lcm of the numbers okay hcf and lcm is the next topic that we'll be discussing so whatever the foundation will be 
required has already covered so we will be start with the arithmetical ability that is hcf and lcm then we'll move to the uh, simplification along with that i have given you homework where i have asked you to find the square roots and the cube roots sorry uh, squares up to 30 okay i have asked you to note it down as well as i have asked you to note the tables up to 30 so this is required for uh, having the basic calculation to speed up your calculation these things are uh, quite necessary so i hope you have completed your work that i have mentioned that write down even if you have not completed please write down the squares up to 30 as well as the square roots up to 30 then tables up to 30 okay this will be very much helpful for you in upcoming uh, lectures as well as for your uh, speeding of the calculation okay so let us begin with today's lecture which is about the divisibility uh, test left out divisibility test will be discussed the very first one is the divisibility test of 15 okay uh, yes divisibility by 15 okay so the divisibility by an, uh, 15 it means that uh, uh, to check whether a given number is divisible by 5 sorry 15 two things we have to do is check whether that particular given number the first step that you have to do is check whether that particular number is divisible by 5 then move to the second step if it is divisible by 5 then move to the second step that is whether that particular number is divisible by 3 or not okay so this is all about the divisibility test of 15 where you have to check whether the given number is divisible by 5 then move to the divisibility test of 3 you can do any one uh, as the first step but i would prefer that check whether that first given number is divisible by 5 because it is easy quite easy as we know that divisibility test of 5 is that we have to check the unit digits whether the unit digit is 0 or 5 if it is 0 or 5 then only that number is divisible by 5 we know that thing okay then you can move to the divisibility test of 3 where we check that with, uh, where we take the summation of all the digits in that given number and the summation is then divisible by uh, 5 or not uh, 3 or not that we have to check for example and I would recommend if you have not uh, seen my previous videos please do watch that because based upon that only I am uh, uh, like proceeding okay so you just watch the previous videos over there and then come to this videos okay so for example I am taking a number like 3960 this is a number okay so to check whether this particular number is divisible by 15 or not what I, what else uh, what i can do is the first thing check whether this number is divisible by 5 then next move to that per, that uh, step that whether this number is divisible by 3 or not to check that this number is divisible by 5 we know the divisibility test of 5 where we check the unit digits as uh, whether they are 5 or 0 yes if the number if the unit digit is a zero unit digit is a zero or five it means that number is divisible by five here the unit digit is zero it means this number is divisible by five for the divisibility or test of three what we do is we take the summation of all the digit that is three plus nine plus six plus zero okay nine plus six is what 15 15 plus 3 is what 18 so the total summation for all this particular number is 18 and uh, take the summation and divide it by 3 so let us divide this number by 3 3 6 are 18 it means this particular summation is divisible by 3 it means the whole number will be divisible by 3 this is what we have learnt okay now what does the divisibility test of 15 ask us test whether that number is divisible by 5 as well as by 3 okay the mandatory thing should be the mandatory thing for the divisibility test of 15 should be that both divisibility test of 5 and 3 should be valid over here then only the number is divisible by 15 if i'm telling you that sir and ma'am one number is divisible by 5 and the other is not divisible by 3 
that particular number is divisible by 3 but not by 5 it means that the number is not divisible by 15 keep in mind the rule is applied only when both the divisibility test of 5 and 3 are applicable then only 15 divisibility test is applicable clear everyone okay one more example for this i'll give you as a uh, let us do this okay 550 five, if this is the number to check whether this number is divisible by 15 or not what we are going to do check divisibility test of 5 and check the divisibility test of 3 for 5 what we see is the unit plus unit plus is 0 it means the number is divisible by 5 now for divisibility test of 3 what we are going to do is take the summation of all the numbers and summation for this num particular number is 5 plus 5 10 10 plus 3 13 13 is a not divisible by 3 it means this number is not divisible by 3 ultimately this number is not divisible by 15 again got it so in this way you can practice various uh, uh, divisibility test by assuming certain uh, digits certain numbers in your mind and practice okay so practice is going to make uh, you actually uh, feel quite quite comfortable in upcoming lectures so that a uh, lot of divisions multiplication won't get harder for you okay so next divisibility test that we are going to study is divisibility test by 16 divisibility by 16 by 16 okay to study the divisibility test by 16 what we have to do is assume any number okay for example i'm assuming a number that is 7 mm, 9 7 5 3 6 is my number this is my whole number 7 9 7 5 3 6 so to check whether a given number it is divisible by 16 or not what we have to do is exactly like the divisibility test of 4 we have seen the divisibility test of 8 we have seen in divisibility test of 4 what we have seen the last digits okay when we are checking whether a given number is divisible by 4 or not what we used to do is we have ch checked the last two digits last two digits in the uh, t uh, in the case of divisibility test of 8 what we have done is we have checked the last three digits sir right now in the case of divisibility test of 16 we are going to check the last four digits am i right okay uh, in this particular scene scenario divisibility test of 16 we are going to see the last four digits in case of four we have seen last two digits in case of 8 we have seen last 3 digits in case of 16 we are going to check the last 4 digits so what are the last 4 digits over here 7536 if the last 4 digits of any given number is divisible by 16 then that number is divisible by that whole number is divisible by 16 is the divisibility test for 16 again so what are the last four digits that is seven five three six is this particular last digit divisible by 16 let us check 16 oh uh, second please okay so look at this 16 four zero. 16 fours are 64 okay 16 sevens are and 16 ones are 60 so this particular number is uh, divisible by 16 so hence we can say this whole number is divisible by 16 whenever you are going to check any divisibility test keep in mind that you have to summarize it in such a way you have to revise this divisibility test in such a way that you have to keep in mind 4 ka 8 ka 16 ka that is 4 in case of 4 we will see the last 2 digit in case of 8 we are going to see the last 3 digit whether they are divisible by it or not in case of 16 we are going to uh, check the last 4 digit if those last 4 digits are divisible by 16 it means the whole number is divisible by 16 is the divisibility test of 16 moving on to the next divisibility test which is a divisibility by 
24 so to study the divisibility test of 24 what we will do is we should remember we must remember the divisibility test of 3 as well as the divisibility test of 8 we know the divisibility test of 3 take the summation of all the digits and in case of this whatever the summation is going to come divided by 3 In case of divisibility test of eight, we have seen we have to check the last three digits. Am I right? Right now we have studied it. Check that whether the last three digits are divisible by eight or not. If divisible by eight, it means that whole number will be divisible by eight. Was the divisibility test of eight? So in case of divisibility test of twenty-four, both the divisibility test of three as well as divisibility test of eight should follow. Not one of them. Both should follow. when both are following then only divisibility test of 24 is valid let us take an example for this now for example uh fine let us take number like uh 592482 for example if you are taking this number what we will do is first we will check the last two digits first we'll take to check the last two digits are these two digits divisible by sorry last three digits not two digits i'm sorry i'm sorry uh last three digits are these last three digits divisible by 8 or not is the first task that we are going to do here okay so whether 482 for from this given number divisible by 8 no basically answer is 46 sorry 8 is 6 48 Zero point two five. This won't be exactly divisible by eight, right? So it means that it means that here the divisibility test of eight is not following. So let us take one more example. I'll take like a number like four nine two four uh, or eight. One six. okay or 32 so i am taking in such a way intentionally taking this number in such a way that that particular three digit should be divisible by 8 now look at this digit 832 divided by 8 now we know this is divisible by 8 832 is divisible by 8 that is 104 81s are 8 84s are 32 Okay, so this number is divisible by eight. Now, what is the divisibility test of three? We have to take the summation of all numbers: five plus nine plus two plus eight plus three plus two. Okay, so five plus nine plus two plus oh, I mean, sixteen. Sixteen plus eight plus three plus two. It means the total summation is twenty-nine. Now we have to check that this particular summation is divisible by three or not. now here we can clearly see the summation is not divisible by 3 it means the whole number is not divisible by 3 but what is the divisibility test of 24 talking about that the number should be divisible by 8 as well as by 3 so this is this will follow divisibility test of 24 sorry <coughs> yes divisibility test of 24 will follow only when 3 as well as For the divisibility of test of eight, both are following. Then only the divisibility test of twenty-four is going to follow. Okay. Now let us check the divisibility test of forty. What is talking it about? So to check whether a given a uh, number is divisible by forty or not, you have to check two things. The very first thing that you are going to check is. that that particular given number is divisible by it is divisible by 5 and is it divisible by 8 okay to check a given number is divisible by 5 or not what we do is we check the last digits that is whether the digits are 0 or 5 and to check whether that particular given number is divisible by 8 or not we see the last three digits and whether these three last digits are divisible by uh, uh sorry whether these three last digits are divisible by 8 or not is the second task that we are going to do if both these rules are following then only we can say that this particular given number is divisible by 40 so keep in mind whenever we talk about the divisibility test of 40 we are going to check that whether the last digit is 0 or 5 then only it will follow the divisibility test of 
and the second thing that we are going to see is the last three digits whether those three last digits are divisible by 8 if they are divisible by 8 as well as by 5 it means that the divisibility test of 40 is following over here okay the last divisibility test that we are going to study is divisibility test of 80 so divisibility test of 80 it means that here you have to check again two things divisibility test of 5 should be checked over here as well as divisibility test of 16 what does divisibility test of 5 talks about the unit place should be unit step place should be 0 or 5 if then it is divisible by 5 and what does divisibility test of 16 talks about 16 talks about that the last four digits of any given number last four digits of any given number should be divisible by 16 then that number is divisible by 16 if both the divisibility rules are following then we can say that the divisibility test of 80 is following over here okay so this was all about the divisibility test that we have discussed up to now we have checked the divisibility test of 2 4 3 5 6 we have checked the divisibility test of 8 then 10 11 9 as well nextly we have checked the divisibility test of 12 14 15 uh, 16 as well 24 then we have checked uh, divisibility test of 80 40 and 80 so this much divisibility test have been covered okay so from tomorrow's lecture we'll be starting up uh, with the new topic fresh new topic that is the hcf as well as lcm okay so uh, get ready and uh, just make sure that whatever the work i'm giving to you as a homework you should solve that okay don't make that mistake ki aap solve nahi kar rahe ho. once you are uh, getting into that habit that you're not solving the work that i'm giving to you that will um, somehow make difficulties in your upcoming lectures so make sure that whatever i'm giving you whatever i'm making uh, I'm just highlighting the things as a homework that you have to solve it. Okay. So this was the end of today's lecture. Thank you for watching it. I hope you're liking the video. If you're liking the video, please hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe it. So have a great day everyone. Bye.